Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to day six of Wave Week. I have an entirely new recipe that I'm going to be using for today's wave, but more on that in a minute. First, let me go over the colors I'm going to be using. This is Titanium White by Amsterdam, and this is Amsterdam Phthalo Blue. The next color I'm going to be using is Pebio, and it is Pebio Blue Green iridescent, iridescent blue green, and this is iridescent blue black. And then I have a Liquitex phthalo blue. I know two phthalo blues, so there's a reason for it. <laughs> and then I have Amsterdam sky blue light. So these are the colors I'm going to be using to make my wave today. I'm going to be starting with the white base. And as I'm laying down this white base, I want to tell you about this new recipe that I'm using. If you have been watching acrylic pore painting for any amount of time, I am almost positive you know the name Olga Sobi. I have always admired her. I think she, her artwork is beautiful. She's so talented and I've learned so much from her. So when she came out with a new course with her new secret recipe, I was a little bit on the fence about whether I wanted to take it because I've gotten really comfortable with Floetrol. And I don't know, it just like, I know what I'm doing. I feel really comfortable with it. I know what to expect. And opening myself up to a new recipe, I was like, I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. But uh, I actually had a student come to my studio to take a class, and she brought the her new pouring mix from Olga's class with her. And when I watched her pour with it, I was sold. Like, the results were beautiful, and I said, I have got to learn how to do this. Plus, the new pouring medium is archival, which Floetrol is not archival. So I feel like it makes the work more stable and more uh, to have more life for my customers so if you have been on the fence about wanting to take Olga's course or not I recommend it I uh, signed up to be an affiliate so in the description you can click on the link to her class and you can use my promo code which is Becca for 10% off um, I I don't want you to feel like I'm trying to just push something on you because I've taken lots of classes and if I didn't think that this was great, if I didn't think that Olga was like a fantastic instructor, I wouldn't recommend it. I don't recommend everything that I take and I definitely don't <laughs> recommend everything that I try in acrylic pouring, but I really do think this is good. And I think if you have any concerns about Floetrol or if Floetrol, American Floetrol is not an option for you to get or it's really expensive, this may be a better way for you to pour. Just throwing it out there. Anyway, that was my little soapbox that I got on and I will jump off now and talk about my wave. Um, I cannot talk about the pouring recipe because that is proprietary property to Olga, so I can't go into that, but I will say that the colors that I've chosen are mixed with different pouring mediums and they're layered in a particular way to get a particular result. And I have just started to play around with this, this new pouring medium and I am starting to get used to it. So sometimes I have to go back and pour over. Um, I mean, sometimes I do that with Floetrol too, but like I said, I'm getting used to it um, and learning how the paints are gonna interact with each other. But I do feel like I really have a leg up in taking this course and understanding. She's such a good instructor. So the last color that I'm putting on here is the Amsterdam Sky Blue Light. And you can probably tell already that I have entirely too much paint on my canvas. But don't worry, I know a lot goes off the edges, but I take the extra paints and I make things out of them. I make jewelry, I make magnets. I made these beautiful magnets right here from the extra paint that flowed off the edge of the canvas. So I do not let anything go to waste. I use up every bit of the paint that I can possibly use. When I do waves, I like to start by just taking the edges and blowing them over the edges and the corners to make sure that they get covered. Because once I start creating that wave formation, I don't want to have to be worried about changing the direction that I'm blowing the paint just to make sure that I'm covering the edges. I just want to focus on the direction of the paint that I want it to go and the flow that I want it to go to get the look that I'm going for, if that makes sense. One thing that I noticed about this new secret pouring medium recipe is that the paints just flow better like the way that the paints go together and the way that they mix it's just there's like a softness about it it's almost like silk I really do like it you can see down there at the bottom of the wave that I've gotten some cells 
and it's pretty cool because I knew pretty much what I was going to get going into it, um, but I just have way too much paint on the canvas and I don't want to risk it cracking. I knew it would run all over the place because I learned that lesson from <laughs> my previous waves this week. Um, so I knew that I had to spend some time and just get a lot of that paint off the canvas. And in doing so, I kind of sacrificed the integrity of the composition a bit. So I'm gonna be spending some time here blowing this out and then I'm gonna be re-blowing it. And then I'm gonna try some finger swiping and then I'm gonna come back and layer colors in specific orders in specific areas because I kind of lost the cells that I was going for because I had to blow it so many times. And I was able to come back in and get them anyway in the end just by adding a little bit of paint here and there. Make sure you stay until the end to see the finished result. I do not think you'll be disappointed. It turns out really cool. I'm not the one who's always right. 
exactly what I was going for. about the energy in this one and has so much life and so much vibrancy to it and I'm running my fingers through this and I just want to talk about finger swipes for a second I've had a lot of people ask me how I do my finger swipes because they get crevices in when they're using Floetrol um, I pull the glove off the tip of my finger when I'm using Floetrol but I have to say with this pouring medium you don't need to do that you can just put your finger straight in there and run it along and it will just close up right behind your finger. So that's how I guess how you see Olga do that. Um, it's just the pouring medium that makes all the difference. Don't forget, if you'd like to take Olga's course and learn this pouring medium for yourself, you can use promo code BECCA, that's B-E-C-C-A, to get 10% off. I will put the link in my description as, long, as well as the promo code, just in case you forgot what that was. And um, you'll have to let me know if you take the course and what you think. I'd be interested to hear. Um, I am just running my finger right through onto the canvas and you can see that it doesn't, you don't see the canvas. It doesn't make like a crevice. It just closes up right behind and leaves those beautiful flows from the finger swipe. I'm so excited about how this wave turned out. I just, I can't wait to just try this recipe with so many other things. Uh, make sure you're subscribed and like this video so you can see more content like this.